Hi everyone, today is Sunday, October 20th, 2019, 11, 18 a.m., 57 degrees Fahrenheit, 14 degrees Celsius. I'll be doing a walk of Lefferts Boulevard to the neighborhood of Kew Gardens. And I'll be walking through the neighborhood of Richmond Hill. So this is the terminal of the Lefferts Boulevard A train station. I just walked here from JFK Airport if you'd like to see that video, I'll leave a link to the video in the upper right corner. It's a very, very busy transportation hub. You can get the buses to JFK Airport here, and there's also a lot of people promoting taxis to get you from place to place. Okay, NYPD traffic doing their job. They can't stand there. I want to see what happens with this car. Uh oh, ticket time. Someone's getting in trouble. So this is how the New York City Police Department operates their tickets. I won't stand around for this, but I have to get continue with this walk. Someone's selling um, traditional fashion here. Looks Asian to me. Very, very beautiful designs. Here's Chase Bank. So the Richmond Hill neighborhood doesn't officially begin until 103rd Avenue. Well, mid-block between 103rd Avenue and 101st Avenue. The border is kind of weird here, but I think it's close enough to show you the changing neighborhood that I decided to start from Liberty Avenue. But a little bit about Richmond Hill. It's a commercial and residential neighborhood located in the borough of Queens. As you see right here, the Queens Library. It's closed right now because it's Sunday. It's bordered by Kew Gardens to the north, Jamaica and South Jamaica to the east, South Ozone Park, which I'm currently at right now, to the south, and Woodhaven and Ozone Park to the west. So the reason why this neighborhood's called Richmond Hill is because there is a Richmond Hill in Richmond Hill. It's a moraine created by debris and rocks collecting, uh, by, collected while great glaciers advanced during uh, the Wisconsin glaciation. I don't know where that hill is right now, but we'll find out. And I really hope I don't get copyrighted from that music across the street. Otherwise, you won't be hearing me right now. Here's a dental office. I'm even across the street and I can hear it. That's pretty loud. But I'm reading right now that the Rich Richmond Hill name was inspired either by a suburban town near London or by Edward Richmond, a landscape architect in the mid 19th century who designed most of the neighborhood. Wow. And actually the name of the street where I'm walking on, there was a um, family by the name of Lefferts, Lefferts Farms. Uh, 
a lot of the neighborhood was shaped by the railroads that came here. The streets were laid to match the geography of the area. But the railroad stations that led to the, the development of the area were the Atlantic Avenue and Greenwood Avenue stations. The Greenwood Avenue is now 111th Street. And the Richmond Hill Street, uh, Station at Park Street. Now it's known, now known as Hillside Avenue. The demographics of the area were 11% white, 11% African American, 1% Native American, 27% Asian, less than 1% Pacific Islander, 6.6% uh, from other races, and Hispanic or Latino of any race uh, was 36% of the population. This is according to the 2010 U.S. Census. I saw a lot of people over there with traditional dress, very nicely elaborated and designed. I know a lot of those dresses, they're handmade, so just think of the time that it takes to make them. Here's a um, business that looks like a private residence. Passport photos, ID photos, and digital video, and um, photos. So right now I'm approaching the official boundary or the border of Richmond Hill. Here's Villo Russo. This looks like a banquet hall, just judging from the size of it. Probably a very famous one in the area. And of course, there's pigeons here enjoying some New York City muffin, bagel. I'm not sure what that is but I'm not disturbing you, continue eating. Lefferts Plaza, Medical Office, Light the Mobile. That was a very aggressive car driver. Santander Bank. I love this patio here with the blue chairs and Halloween decorations. There's also a church across the street, Agape Seventh-day Adventist Church of Richmond Hill.
Someone's growing grapes in their front yard, front lawn here. Another tree with the sidewalk going right up to the tree trunk. So bad. Even looking at these tree beds, I think it's a little bit too small for the tree. It's even like growing on top of the sidewalk. <laughs> so there's actually two Richmond Hills. There's South Richmond Hill and Richmond Hill, which begins at Atlantic Avenue. So I'm only two blocks from the border of South Richmond Hill with Richmond Hill. Natural Herbal Health Center. That's the second business I saw here that's in the um, private residence type home like that. And here's someone's growing a lot of vegetables in their front lawn. A lot of construction happening on these two blocks here. This road's closed and then there's this huge abandoned home here. Doesn't look safe at all. Maybe a fire uh, broke out or something. The top floor is a little bit charred. Ooh man. Dangerous for sure. Looks like someone's um, taking out groceries and bringing it home. This home looks like you could use some work also. The window, there's a missing window there. It's a medical office. Love these um, child sculptures on this building here. And now here's a Indian restaurant, India Cafe restaurant, which doesn't seem to be open right now. And Hugo's hairstylist with a very nice dog in front. A 24 hour deli and grocery here. Someone's cleaning the windows. And here is the 
big street known as Atlantic Avenue. Once I cross over the street, I've entered the neighborhood of Richmond Hill from the neighborhood of South Richmond Hill. There's a gas station here, Amico. Here's a Punjabi restaurant. Atlantis Hall, Banquet Hall, I, guess, I suppose. These homes are all very nice. They all have their unique architectural style, different colors. Look at this place across the street. Very, very huge home. I guess the birds are acting up right now. Here's Bethlehem Church. Those birds are all crows, by the way. I just looked up. Some utility works being done right now. Okay, I do notice a big difference between South Richmond Hill and Richmond Hill. The homes in Richmond Hill do seem to be a bit more grand and have a lot more space than South Richmond Hill. And there doesn't really seem to be as many commercial businesses on this side of Lefferts Boulevard compared to the other side, or I should say um, Atlantic Avenue. I'm getting close to the border of Kew Gardens.
nice pretty pink flowers and a fountain as well. Big business here for plumbing and heating services. They serve four boroughs. New York, which I assume is Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, and Bronx, as well as Nassau. Everyone forgets about Staten Island, but then again, it's very hard to get to Staten Island from Richmond Hill. I think they'll be better served by vendors who are closer to Staten Island than Eastern Queens. This is a roofing dealer and roof supply wholesale. Up ahead is the start of Myrtle Avenue and also the elevated J uh, and Z trains. Also, there's a Long Island Railroad uh, track right below it. Discount store. They have all their Halloween decorations in the front for you to purchase. Free dry with every wash. That's actually a good marketing campaign because a lot of people they spend extra money drying their clothes, sometimes even more than the wash. Simple auto, keep it simple. I like that slogan. Here is, uh, pardon my spelling, Kata Tour Restaurant, Guyanese and West Indian cuisine. Here's a very busy intersection, even though there's no train station here. Long Island Railroad intersection with the J and Z trains along with Jamaica Avenue and the start of Myrtle Avenue. There's Myrtle Avenue. Anyway, wait for this motorcycle to pass by before I say my outro. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you did. Comment down below. And I'll see you all next time. If you want to see me walk Kew Gardens in, on Lefferts Boulevard, you can check out my video. I'll link it in the upper right corner or maybe in the video description. But that's it for this walk. Take care, everybody. I'll see you all next time.